Hi everyone, this is Debbie with Plan Do Repeat, and today I'm going to do something different uh, that I've never done before. I've, I'm doing a project with a digital kit. I've never done it before. This is my first one, so uh, go easy with me. <laughs> it's from an Etsy shop called Studio 28E, and Sherry is the owner, and she is awesome, and so this is where that kit went came from so um, I went ahead and I printed out everything that I'm going to be uh, using and this is from the autumn kit it's uh it's so beautiful I just look at that I just I had to do it <laughs> so um I printed out I fussy cut I did everything first and then I pulled out a couple of other things that I thought might go with it um some material some, uh, I don't know what this, paper ribbon, some leaves, some uh, fabric, uh, some lace, and I have this book, all right? I got this, I think, at a um, thrift shop. So uh, I called all the, uh, all the pages out that I wanted to pull out. I pulled out about two thirds of all the pages. Um, so you can see uh, they had um, sewn in signatures. So this is uh, what it looks like with it. Most of the pages pulled out. Uh, right now I have 32 pages and I have two inside covers. So um, what I need to do first, I want to do that first so that um, uh, y'all wouldn't be stuck with me counting pages and pulling paper but if there is if that's something that you would like me to show you uh, on video I will do that I will get another book and I will show you how it's done but let's go from here so um, all the pages I pulled out from the from the signatures left my uh, the the uh, what do you call it these right here the the um the signatures the uh the threads okay these look fine right here but a couple of them look pretty um tore up i'm trying to find one that yeah okay see so can you see that right here okay it's loose and i don't want that i don't want these coming out um so what i'm going to do is I'm going to use a little gesso um, right down the middle. There's all kinds of ways that you can um, take care of your spine. Uh, some people use tape. Some use binding. There's just all different ways that you can you can uh, do that. But this is the way that I'm going to use. Uh, this is gesso. <laughs> uh, and I'm just going to pour some into a container. Okay, hold on just a second. Okay, I'm back. Um, I couldn't get my gesso open. And by the way, um, gesso, I call it the great equalizer. Um, it has all kinds of really good stuff in it. Um, but basically, it uh, gives you a texture where you can uh, add other things to to your uh, to your surface. Uh, I love, I love gesso. I, I use it all the time. So, um, I went ahead and I went and I did this. I, I put it in here. Uh, I remembered that I had to dry it <laughs> between <laughs> each application. So, um, I, I went ahead and just put it on each of the ones that needed it. Um, see, and I dried them so that they uh, wouldn't stick. So that's that's what I did. And it, I just went over it with a with a brush and just 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 did that. That's that's it. I I didn't do anything else but dry it. Okay. So um, I just wanted to make sure that they weren't going to fall apart while I was while I was starting this. All right, so um, I'm thinking about doing some collage on the, the inside covers. 
So I'm going to leave those blank for the moment. And so this is the first page right here. And I want to do something with these because I think these are just beautiful. Don't you? I just love them. So um, I'm going to go ahead and cut them apart. Okay. All right. And then, uh, let's see. I have some pages that I want to use um, around this. I've got some old uh, pages here, but I want to use ones that don't have <laughs> the plants on them. I might have to use the other ones. I think all of these have it. Oh, here we go. Okay, awesome. So this is part of, uh, of how you put together uh, a journal because I mean, there's a lot of things that you have to do um, beforehand uh, that people don't think about, you know? Um, so basically I wanted to put just, um, pieces of this uh, around the edges so that this isn't by itself and I want to put this one here and this one here so that when you open it up your eyes not automatically go to the right I don't know why but they do um, most people uh, not all people because there are always exceptions <laughs> so um, what I'm going to do basically is I'm going to tear around these pieces and what I'm doing is I'm putting them in, a, in this little plastic container if you can't see it and that's what I'm going to do right now and then I'm going to glue these onto the sheet and I'm going to do it on the bottom side of the before I put this on okay so I'm just going to put these on in just a haphazard way, okay? And then I will get back because I don't want you to sit here for an hour to see how I've been doing this, all right? So I'll be right back. Okay, so I glued all the pages down, the, uh, the pieces. I tore all the little sides and stuff off of them and um, can you see yeah okay and then I inked up with uh, walnut stain uh, Tim Holtz walnut stain uh, distressed ink and I did it all around the edges uh, and I did some in the middle too and then I also did it to the two images that I was going to put on these pages so I just went around the edges and they're both going to sit like this, okay? Um, let's see. Oh, and I used Scotch Create glue stick to put these on. And I love this, this stuff, it works really great. And so, let's see, I'm gonna put this one on here and this one here. And I'm going to use, um, art glitter glue okay and I like this uh, glue it's good for all sorts of uh, things that you want to use it for uh, it's good for paper on paper it dries relatively quick let me get this to the edges here I have already so much glue on my fingers from the glue stick. I think I need to add some more. Okay. I just wanted to make sure that the edges 
are gonna stick. All right, so just put it on there and glue. Now I use a lot of different things to put my, put my glue on there to make sure it stays on. You can use one of these. You can use one of these. It's just a regular cotton hanky. It helps to collect the excess glue from the edges. There we go. Okay. All right. So next one is this one. we go and I'm just going to smear 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 with my finger our fingers are the best tools that you can use okay there we go love it I love this it's it's beautiful all right, so let me get some of this off. Let me rub. There we go. Okay, and I have a little bit of white showing, so I'm going to get some more of this ink, and I'm just going to... There we go. Okay, I think that's good. Okay. All right. Now, I like to put words and stuff on here. So, um, I have a bunch of these that look like this. And a bunch of these that look like this. Okay. And I think I'm going to go... Let's see. I don't know. I'm kind of digging on this one. What do y'all think? I mean, uh, for the colors, just the color. Um, yeah, I'm going to go with these. All right. So let's see. Um, I like this one for the tree. Relax so down. Be courageous. More life, less rush. Oh, I like that. Okay. So that's what I'm going to put on these pages. Now, I can either put it on the, the picture itself, but I'm not going to do that. I'm also going to... Yes, ink it up. <laughs> um, and I'm going to go ahead and use the walnut stain that I used on the rest of it. Uh, first, I'm going to... No, no, I'm not going to tear it. I was, but I'm not going to. I think I'm going to put this one down here. More life, less rush. And since there's so much on here, I think I'm going to use the Fabri-Tac just to make sure. Uh, this is great for fabric to fabric, uh, paper to paper, fabric to paper. Uh, you can use it for all different kinds of things. I mean, there's just uh, every time I have some kind of a 
little ephemera that I want to stick on that's uh, clunky, I use this. <laughs> and I know that it's not going to come off, so I like it. All right, let's see. I don't know where I'm going to put this one. And no, I'm not sponsored. <laughs> All right. Let's let the tree tell us to relax and slow down. Just like that. Yep. There we go. And there's our first two pages. Let me show it up to you close. Relax, slow down. This is a beautiful apple tree. I just, I just adore it. And then we have this little maiden climbing, reaching up to get her apples and more life, less rush. I just, I love this. I think it's beautiful. What do you think? I think it's, it's perfect for the first two pages of, uh, of our uh, autumn book. Okay. Well, you know what? I'm going to stop there and uh, we're going to go next to um, the next two pages on this. And I'm thinking about possibly uh, giving this away, having a giveaway at the end when I'm done. You think you'd like to have one of these? I'm just making one. It's the only one in the entire world that's going to be like this. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to do that there's going to be a giveaway. So stay tuned and it, this may become yours so you can watch how it gets made. So I have a lot of pages to go. It has 32 pages and two inside covers. So uh, thank you so much for watching. This has been so much fun. I love working with a digital kit. Um, stay tuned and until next time, peace out.